Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Vanessa V, and I'm here with another video. <laughs> so today, you guys can see from the title that your girl, once again, has another Ross haul. Now, before y'all even tell me anything, like, I mean, I know that I just did a Ross haul, but I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> And I guess you could tell like where my money goes. Girls should be investing in stocks with Ross and TJ Maxx and the like. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I picked up from Ross. And then there's a couple of items that I did pick up from TJ Maxx that I also wanna show you. So we're gonna do it. So the first thing I have right up here, actually they have quite a bit and I think it's actually because it's close to Valentine's Day. But they have these hydrating lip masks, and I picked these up for $4.99. I'm all about a mask moment, and lips are in. Lips are in. And that's by, um, I don't think they have a brand. This is by Yesful, which also claims to be uh, cruelty free, free and made in Korea. This is a, a hyaluronic acid and shea, shea butter. Um, I guess lip mask and each of these I don't think I said it each of them come with 10 so there's that going on the home mask train <clears throat> I bought these and it's by Nicole Miller I hadn't really tried any of the Nicole Miller like health and beauty stuff that they have typically at Ross but I did pick this up and it's infused with rose and aloe. I got six pairs for $4.99 and honestly, I'll just tell you, I picked them up because they were cute. That's all. They're like little shooting stars. Really, really cute with a little bit of glitter in them. And um, I think I said how much those were. Those were $4.99. All of this is from Ross. Then I picked this up from Ross. These were for $3.99 and I've been wanting these little clips. They like to clip your flyaways when you're doing your makeup. So I thought they were really cute and I picked those up for $3.99. Am I the only one that picks up like health and beauty stuff from Ross? You guys are going to have to let me know. But <clears throat> moving on from health and beauty at Ross. Oh, actually... I got this lip scrub and applicator. This is actually gonna be a little gift. So, I won't use this, but it is a gift. I think it's really, really cute, and I hope it works good. It's also by the Nicole Miller brand, so. All right, moving on. I got not one, but two boxes of cards. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, then you probably heard me mention my Poshmark. So if you didn't know, now you know your girl got to Poshmark and I sell my clothes that basically I don't use anymore. Some of it is clothes that I never even have even worn. You know, I haul stuff and then end up not wearing it over time. Anyways, all that to say, I bought these cards because um, each time I do make a sell, when I package up the sell items, I do send it with a little card. Those are some of the designs right there on the back from this particular box. And then here are the designs on the back of the other set that I purchased. And both of these I picked up for $3.99 and they each have 40 cards. So... That's not bad. I like sending like a little personal touch. All right, the next item I got <clears throat> is this cute little harness for Cupcake, just in time for Valentine's Day as well. I picked this up for $6.99. She already has a couple of these from Ross, so I know it's gonna work for her. The next item I picked up was for me. I picked up these sheets and the size and queen, <laughs> the size in queen. All right, so I bought these for my bed. They have like different shades of pink and like almost like a mauve color. Um, I thought they were really cute because as you guys can tell, like I have like a nice little peachy color 
uh, bed spread going on. So, that being said, I did pick up these pillows. I don't know if you guys could tell they're brand new there in the background. I picked these up from Ross for $17.99 and it's a set of two. So I also thought they would look really good with my um, comforter or bedspread that I have. And I also picked up this one over here. And <clears throat> this one I picked up for $12.99. So they're, they are kind of similar to the ones that I already have back there. But those are getting kind of gross. And these kind of pillows you really cannot. Um, those kind of pillows you really can't stick them in the washer. Um, they're all like spot clean. Spot clean, spot clean. Unless you have a trick about putting them in the washer, girl, let me know. No more, let me know. Alright, the next item I have here, we're getting into a little bit of clothing, are these leather, faux leather, or leather. They're like leggings, honestly. They do have a zipper down here. They're really nice. These are actually from Ross, but the brand Lane Bryant. So if you guys can see right there, the brand. I did pick them up in a size 1820. And girl, look how much they were. Let's let her focus because even she can't believe the price. There we go. $1.99. Unheard of. These are going to be so cute to wear out. Well, I got them I got them and then I also got these leggings I picked these leggings up also on clearance let's see I bought them in a 2x and they are Puma I don't know if you guys have been to Ross lately but they do have a lot of Puma stuff currently and these are more like some kind of training pants because they are like really thin um, like dry fit material I do like them and I picked those up on clearance for $9.99. And then to go along with that, I picked this up also from clearance. Check this out. This cute little sweater. Hey. And this is also Puma. And I picked this up in a size XXL for $16.99. I thought it was pretty cute. The little detail will look cute with um, the pants. So, there's that. The last clothing item I got, I did pick up this Fila sweater. This sweater I did pick up in a 3X and it does fit a little bit loose, but I was really feeling it. <clears throat> and I picked this up for $13.99. So you can see the little details. And then there, it's just the regular crew neck sweater. I think that's what you call it. <clears throat> the next thing I have here is some tissue paper. I actually picked this up again for my Poshmark business. I like to wrap everything really nicely and I thought it was so cute. Um, perfect for Valentine's but also I like just sending cute packaging so I will be using that. <sighs> now to my favorite part. Shoes. <laughs> Alright, so these shoes I picked up in a size 10 and the brand is Bison Bison and then it says Michelle Bobot. I think that's how you say it. Michelle Bobot. These have plastic detailing. These are not metal and they do have a little square toe that is in. We also have a small heel here. Um, the only thing I'll say about these that I'm not necessarily a fan of is the width. They seem to be wide width. The bottom of the shoe doesn't declare <laughs> that they're wide width. But girl, your feet really be swimming in there. So I'm thinking about getting like a little padding to put in there or I don't know how I'm going to keep these on my feet. But they were cute for $20 hairs. $20. Make you holla shop caller i thought those were cute though also like for valentine's because they're a little red we'll see the next pair of shoes i got <clears throat> are these really cute shoes these are actually from the brand delicious i believe because they have that d with the little heart i remember them from like 
where they were sold at other places like shoe carnival they do have a clear uh semi thick but it like flat heel they do have two bands with rhinestones on it one that goes right ar above the toes and then one that goes further up here i will say um I don't know, they're really cute. And they're also square toed as well. And even though they're a size 10, they fit. My foot barely fits, but they fit without looking borderline crazy. Uh, <clears throat> and I feel like, I don't know what's up with me. Like the energy is not there. I'm trying to bring the energy, but the energy is like nowhere to be seen. I think it's because it's after work and I'm tired. So you guys can comment down below. Tell me how y'all feel when you guys get off of work. Do you have time for your hobbies? Do you have time to do stuff? Like to play dress up? <laughs> um, the next item I have is from Ross. I picked this over the door hook rack for the towels in our bathroom. Sharing a bathroom with somebody, you don't get to keep all the space to yourself. So I bought this to try to help with our towel situation. So there's that. I picked it up for $5.99. If you guys need an over-the-door rack, $5.99 is not bad. And then the last thing I picked up, super cute. Look at this. It's an outside doormat. It says home with a little heart. Super cute. On point for Valentine's. Slash, you know. If you love the people you live with, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a home, your heart will be there. And I picked this up for $7.99, so we're doing a seasonal change here. So, hey, girl. Whew. Okay, so now I got these shoes. Now, I'm going to tell you these shoes. If you're watching and you're solely here for Ross and you're against TJ Maxx and you're against Marshalls, or girl, I guess this is where you leave, so girl, bye. Everyone else, though... I love myself a good bargain and I will go to all of those stores and on this day a few days after I went to Ross I went to TJ Maxx and I found these beautiful shoes I've been wanting a nice little nude pair of heels it looks like this already got got okay I've been wanting a new a nudie pair of shoes and I found them at TJ Maxx. You guys can't really see this, but this is like pet and plastic like material. It's like a nude, more like a bone color to be honest. It's more like a bone color. And they are by... <clears throat> and they are by Steve Madden. And they are by Steve Madden. Um, I switched from this shoe to this shoe because look, I ripped the sticker off on the inside and it took up part of the little, the actual inside. I'm like, girl, how are you going to do that to my new Steve Madden shoe? You guys see where it got kind of plucked up by the sticker? Anyways, I picked these up for the low cost of 20 doll hairs. I already took up the stickers, but they were like on clearance, on clearance, on clearance. Because they were regular price. $50 TJ Maxx price and I paid um, $20 not $20.99 not $19.99 20 doll hairs and if you guys take a look at the bottom I have already been stomping the yard trying to break them in because truth be told uh, one of them does rub me on the back of my heel just a little bit almost like when they go in and out but I thought these were really cute and for $20 and I already know what some of you guys are thinking. Some of you guys are thinking like, like my sister thinks, like, bitch, like you need more shoes? Like you need more clothes? So don't even ask me, like, have I wore any of the shoes that I bought last time? Because I'm, I'm gonna have a hard time answering that question. All right, moving right along in the spirit of TJ Maxx, I also picked this up from TJ Maxx. I think I saw Alexis Jada. I don't know if she hauled the exact same palette, but your girl got picked it up. It's by Cara Beauty and it was $9.99. They have like magnetic closures here and it really has two palettes, two looks, and one. They have a nice little collection of glitters in there. 
and then the little dual mirrors happening on the side. I'm here for it. That's what the back looks like. It gives you details in the colors and the price point. So I thought that was pretty good. They actually had quite a bit of things, including several palettes from BH Cosmetics. And if you never tried BH Cosmetics, like the color payoffs there, they were cute palettes and they were like $10. But I also had to tell myself like, you don't need it. So I only took the one that I really wanted. And then I also, TJ Maxx Health and Beauty, I picked up these Panda Hydrogel eye patches. And these were $7.99. <clears throat> but I'm really into the under eye patches, as I stated before. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw another one this past weekend. But th these are the ones that come with like a little cup. Not a cup, a little spatula or a little spoon in there. You guys see it? A little spatula or spoon this one happens to be clear and then you scoop them out because they're all layered in here and let me see if I can tell you how many I got with it 30 pads so it's 15 sets so I'm really excited about that because I never want them to run out that's why I keep buying more so yeah, I only have one more box back here and actually these are not even from Ross or TJ Maxx. These are actually from Marshalls. I went to Marshalls to go pick up a gift for my friend's son for his birthday and a gift for my friend for her birthday. Um, anyway, so I was there at Marshall's and I found a couple of other items. Um, I don't remember what else I got, but honestly, I just wanted to show you the shoes. Plus, this title does not say Marshall's or TJ Maxx, it says Ross. So, I'm going to show you the one thing I want to show you. And <laughs> that is the... <laughs> okay, so again, we got another squared toe pop. Look at this cute little hill. It's not too tall. It gives you some support and strappiness on the ankle. These are Mark Fisher. I, I have seen slash I have purchased some of their shoes when I've seen them at Ross. And I picked these up for $29.99. I don't love the price, but I love the shoe. And they have like a little gator detailing here and on the straps. So all in all, I think they're really cute. Can't wear them on a date night. So, somebody asked me out? No. So, I'm really excited about them. And I think that's it. Now I can actually put these bags away, put the items away, and not look like a crazy shopaholic person who's just waiting to haul these for YouTube. So, all that to say is that is the end of my Ross haul slash a pinch from TJ Maxx and one thing from Marshalls. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you do, make sure that you subscribe. Why don't you like this video? Holla at your girl. You know what's up. And I don't know why I'm talking like that. But I love you. I like you. And you should subscribe. What are you waiting for? So I guess until next time. Happy shopping, bitches. Bye.